Okay, I'm honored to have been invited to have a report at the conference. My academic presentation title is Study on the Impact Mechanism of Property Distribution Before and During the COVID-19 in High Density Urban Area, a case study of Tianjin Central Area. The content of the report is divided into four parts. In the first section, I will introduce the necessary background so that you can understand the significance of our research. The second section covers the research data and the methods, including data and the source, population, population density index, and the multi-scale geography weighted regression. And then I will introduce the results. Finally, a simple discussion is given. Okay, COVID-19 spread all over the world, which has a severe impact on urban life, reducing contact rates and restricting mass gathering as the primary pre prevention strategies to deal with the epidemic spread. High density urban areas have a high intensity of development, high degree of function mixing and the rapid pace of life. Also, it has become how bad for the spread of the epidemic. Tianjin or Trans-Mex City, its central area is less exactly like this. Culturally, the spread of the epidemic in the core areas of large cities is very important. So Tianjin has taken active epidemic cultural measures to memorize public gathering activities, such as course management, the pension of school, production and business. It affected cultures epidemic, but also changed the original state of urban operation. For one thing, this epidemic culture measures the cultural mobility of different function space. For another thing, residents' demand for urban functions have changed during the epidemic. The combined, combined effect of the two leads to the change in the interaction between function space and residents. Urban population dynamics is an important representative of urban operation. It can become a critical perspective to understand the interaction and provide helpful information for decision makers who build a resident city. And the beef about the cognition, the study analyzes the relation, relationship between Functions and the population distribution before and during the epidemic in Tianjin high density urban area. Let's move to the data and model of our research. Baidu heat map is one of the most typical representatives of population distribution. It is based on LBS platform, location based service platform mobile phone user location data, and uh, it can calculate the population density of different location in real time. The PowerPoint shows the, uh, okay, sorry. The PowerPoint shows the Baidu heat map at several points of February 27th. Referring to the existing research, we divide the heat grid into one, two, seven. As mentioned above, Urban population dynamic is an important representative of urban operation. We use an indicator to measure the population density of the, of the unit. A high value represents a high population density, considering that the fluctuation of the number of users within a day with select a period when the number of users is stable. And the average population density index in two periods is calculated by day and night. Just like the red figure, we, uh, red figure I showed, we found that the population distribution changes significantly before and uh, during the epidemic. The population density of the core area, the, the set of the main road and the industrial area decreased significantly. Compared with the night time, the distribution of population density change more obviously in the data and the population density of several small patches in the peri periphery of the core area increased. 
unlike people who need to live to the neighborhood to work before the epidemic, people choose to stay at home before the after outbreak ensures the special infiltration of population distribution is non-stationary in space, reflecting the special heterogeneity of the population distribution. Point of interest data contains accurate special information which can be used to characterize the utilization of factory space. In this paper, PUI is divided into four categories. According to the proportion of PUIs, the residential function intensity, commercial function intensity, service function intensity, and the industrial function intensity are calculated. The above data were crawled from back to platform. And the geographic weight regression is a local regression method can be used to to explain spatial heterogeneity and uh, its widely used in the study of urban population distribution mechanism. But a city, a city pheno phenomenon is often determined by multiple spatial sites at different scales. And many scholars have proposed that skill features and the multi scale information are very important for urban research. MGWR can make, make each variable generate a special bandwidth, which is independent of the order in which in, independent variables enter into the calibration. The multi scale of the G MGWR measurement means that the influence of the independent variables on dependent variables is different in special variation, which solves the defects of GWR. And the paper used MGWR 2.2.1 software to analyze the potential patch of various factors on population distribution chains. Okay, table one shows a significant difference in bandwidth of function variables before and during the epidemic. The action scale of the industrial and commercial function during the epidemic becomes the global scale. It shows that there is no special heterogeneity, and uh, it also shows that the residents are not sensitive to the location of the commercial and the industrial function during the epidemic. And the effect of the living function during the epidemic is significantly smaller, accounting for about 2.4% of the total samples. Besides, almost all urban function variables have smaller diurnal variation in bandwidth during the epidemic, except for service functions. The function bandwidth of service function has a significant difference between day and night during the epidemic. That is, there is still significant, significant difference in popular distribution between day and night in the service function array. This may be because service function arrays still have commuting characters during the epidemic. Mm, they are the guarantee of the basic operation, operation of the city. Table two shows the impact of urban functions or population aggregation chains before, during, before and during the epidemic. Before the epidemic's effect of functions on population aggregation was more was positive and so <clears throat> in terms of daytime, the every impact intensity of surface function is the largest. The second is commercial function. At night, the average impact of residential and the commercial function is relatively strong. During the epidemic, the coefficient of resident function significantly increased. Whether day and night, the average impact intensity of residential function is largest. 
That is, demand of residential function during the epidemic is generally increasing. The average coefficient of the other smaller because recent demand for commercial service and industrial functions are weakened, especially for commerce. We can find that the epidemic has led to the change of the behavior pat patterns through the compression. Before the epidemic, residents take service and commerce as the core of the data activities and uh, residents and commerce as the core of the nighttime activities. But during the epidemic, residents take living space as a single core of activity both day and night. The two figures show special impact of urban function variables on population aggregation. The insignificant grid unit in the index the analyzed function has a weak ability to interpret. Regardless of the epidemic, residential and survey functions, special heterogeneity is stronger than that of commercial and industrial functions. Mm. The diurnal difference in the impact of residential functions on PDI during the epidemic is small. The overall spatial character is similar to, similar to the night before the epidemic. It's because block, block eight measures are implemented in Tianjin communities in the early stage of the epidemic. So the activity scope is relatively small, mainly in the residential area and the surrounding area. It's similar to the living conditions at night before the epidemic. <clears throat> One noticeable difference is that the fringe zone was significantly affected by residential functions during the epidemic. From the perspective of spatial distribution, the impaired survey functions on PDI is relatively consistent. Service functions as a fundamental guarantee of life still manifested in the apparent change in day and night. However, during the epidemic, people's mobility to public cultural facilities, education areas, and the transportation and the logistic areas have weakened. The intensity of commercial functions impact generally decreased during the epidemic, and the residents' mobility to physical commercial space is generally weakened. So significant changes have taken place in the impact of induction function on PDI after the outbreak. The impact change from positive to negative. It's consistent with the background of that companies require employees to work remotely during the epidemic. <laughs> Now we come to the last part, the transmission mode, speed and scores of COVID-19 for the main cities to adopt block eight to culture spread of the epidemic. From compared uh, the, the study of urban population distribution before and the, during the epidemic period, we can deeply understand the change of residents' lifestyle and uh, urban operation. Mm. The study found that the epidemic changed the impact of urban functions on population distribution. During the epidemic, the epidemic prevention requirements, such as shutting down work and school, education and business activity replaced by remote work and uh, online course and e-commerce, in fear of the epidemic and the cultural requirements, residents' mobility is reduced and their daily activities often occur as community or near the community. Therefore, during the epidemic, residents' demand for physical commerce and the commuter decreased, and they were not sensitive to the location of commercial and the industrial functions. 
As reviewed by previous studies, the role of housing has become more critical during the epidemic. Our research conference says the resident demand for residential functions increased significantly during the epidemic. The effective culture of the epidemic in Tianjin and even in China will benefit from the prevention measures of home isolation based on community. On the contrary, the ability of no extension functions to population aggregation decreased significantly. Specifically, the demand for public culture facilities, education facilities, and transportation logistics function weakened. Our study also found that there was still significant diurnal variation in ability of residents to service areas during the epidemic. It may be because medical service and government departments and other services as the basic guarantee of urban operation during the epidemic still play a relatively important role during the epidemic. To sum up, relevant decision makers should be aware of the importance of closing communities and online life. The necessity necessity of building and improving the life circle should be recognized and the best service should be inclu included in life circle to reduce the frequency of long distance travel and the residents to meet basic first service and prepare for public health emergency that's about it thank you for attending